Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Today in African History with Baba Shaka. I'm Baba Shaka and today is January 26, 2021. And it was on this date, January 26, back in 1944, that one of our freedom fighters, our sister, was born. And I'm um, talking with Angela Davis. She's still with us. She's not an ancestor yet and hopefully she will be with us for some time to come. Okay? Now, Angela Davis was an activist, or is an activist, I should say, she's still with us, a scholar, a writer, who advocates for the press, and she has authored several books, including Women, Culture, and Politics. Angela Davis became a master scholar who studied at the Sorbonne. She joined the U.S. Communist Party and was jailed for charges related to a prison outbreak, though ultimately she was cleared. Known for books like Women, Race, and Class, she has worked as a professor and activist who advocates gender equity, prison reform, and alliances across color lines. Angela Yvonne Davis was born on January 26, 1944, in Birmingham, Alabama. She grew up in a middle-class neighborhood dubbed Dynamite Hill due to many of the African-American homes in the area that were bombed by the Ku Klux Klan. Davis's father, Frank, owned a service station while her mother, Sally, taught elementary school and was active in the NAACP. Sally would later pursue her master's degree in, in, at NYU in New York, and Davis would accompany her there as a teenager. Davis is best known as a quote-unquote radical African-American educator and activist for civil rights and other social issues. She knew about racial prejudice from her experiences with discrimination growing up in Alabama. As a, te a teenager, Davis organized interracial study groups which were broken up by the police. She also knew some of the, the four little African-American girls who were killed in the Birmingham church bombing of 1963. Davis later moved north and went to Brandeis University in Massachusetts, where she studied philosophy with Herbert Marcuse. As a graduate student at the University of California, San Diego in the late 1960s, she was associated with several groups, including the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. But... She spent most of her time working with the Shea Lumumba Club, which was an all-black branch of the Communist Party. Hired to teach at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, Davis ran into trouble with the school administration because of her association with communism. They fired her, but she fought back in court and got her job back. Davis still ended up leaving when her contract expired in 1970. I guess they wouldn't renew it. Now, outside of academia, Davis had become a strong supporter of three prison inmates of Soledad Prison, known as the Soledad Brothers, even though they were not related. These three men were John Cluset, Fleeta Drumgo, and George Jackson, and they were accused of killing a prison guard after several African-American inmates had been killed in a fight by another prison guard. Some thought that these prisoners were being used as scapegoats because of their political work within the prison. Now, during Jackson's trial in August of 1970, an escape attempt was made when Jackson's younger brother, Jonathan, entered the courtroom to claim hostages he could exchange for his brother. Jonathan Jackson, Superior Court Judge Harold Haley, and two inmates were killed in the ensuing shootout. Angela Davis was brought up on several charges for her alleged part in the event, including murder. She went on the ground and was one of the FBI's most wanted before being caught two months later. There were two main pieces of evidence used at trial. The guns used were registered to her, and she was reportedly, allegedly, in love with Jackson. Her case drew the attention of the international press, and after spending roughly 18 months in jail, Angela Davis was acquitted in June 1972 by an all-white jury. Now, after spending time traveling and lecturing, Davis returned to teaching, and she was a professor at the University of California, Santa Cruz, where she taught courses on history of consciousness until retiring in 2008. Angela Davis has continued to lecture at many prestigious universities, discussing issues regarding race, the criminal justice system, and women's rights. In 2017, she was a featured speaker and made an honorary court chair at the Women's March on Washington the day after Donald Trump's inauguration. 
in addition to being a co-founder of Critical Resistance, which is an organization that aims to end the prison industrial complex, Angela Davis is the author of several books, including Angela Davis, an autobiography, published in 1974, Women, Race and Class, published in 1980, Women, Culture and Politics, published in 1989, Are Prisons Obsolete, published in 2003, Abolition of Democracy, published in 2005, and The Meaning of Freedom, which was published in 2012. So on this day, January 26, back in 1944, our sister and freedom fighter, Angela Davis, was born. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend, Warren Othello Edwards, who was also born on this day back in 1961. So until tomorrow, inshallah, this is the Baba Shaka with Today in African History. Masalam.